Holidays are supposed to be filled with joy and happiness, but that's not the feeling right now at the Pima Animal Care Center. Today, the shelter announcing they will be forced to put down 20 animals if they are not adopted soon. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live from PAC with more on the shelter's euthanization list. Gabrielle. Sean, it turns out the shelter is having a hard time finding new homes for larger dogs, just like Leon right here. He's been here for almost a year and he is, wants to find a new home. He's full of excitement and joy. Now everyone, I'm telling you, if you do not come down here to pick up these larger dogs, they are going to be euthanized. Most of the dogs come to us um, as strays. All of the dogs you are seeing right now need a new place to live. The Pima County Care Center had no choice but to put these lovely dogs on the euthanization list because the shelter has more than 500 dogs. We're not able to isolate dogs. Um, so it really just came to a breaking point and even incoming dogs, we had nowhere to put them. The reason why these dogs are having a difficult time being adopted is because they're just the dogs that take a little bit more. These dogs are all adoptable dogs. Um, they're really good dogs, but, um, right. Uh, of all of our dogs, when we stack them up against each other, they're the hardest dogs for us to place. Christmas is around the corner and people typically adopt animals to surprise their loved ones. We do ask people to make sure um, that they're really thinking it through and making the right decision. Um, you probably shouldn't surprise somebody with a dog unless they've asked for one um, and the type of dog they're looking for. Um, it's always a really good idea to um, maybe give a gift card for an adoptable pet. Right now, at least 20 dogs need your help to find a new home, just like Leon right here. If you want to know where to go to find that information, head over to kvoa.com. It's on our website. Reporting live from the West Side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.